good morning from another hot sunny day right here in Cambodia. We're currently in Sihanoukville where I've been working on a video talking about how basically this is more or less a Chinese city at this point. And today I'm doing something that, uh, look, I'm going to the beach guys. I'm not really a big beach guy. Uh, it's okay for a little while, but some people love it. For me, it's just, it's okay for a short time don't like swimming but I do like the vibe of being at the beach I do think the ocean is beautiful and there are some small islands off the southern coast of Cambodia that apparently are really pristine white sand clear water and while I'm here I just want to go do some exploring I'm just gonna spend a few hours there maybe get my feet wet a little bit walk around see what things are like on the island it's called a Korong so I'm in my tuk-tuk right now and uh, you can see we're riding past all these casinos and hotels built up by the Chinese and uh, we're heading to the ferry port where we get a nice little hopefully scenic trip out to the island so glad to have you guys along for the ride and uh, let's see what we can get into today well this ride to get over here cost me 30,000 can you believe that but <laughs> that's 30,000 real in US that's gonna be about 750 so you can see here there's a decent amount of international travelers but when you're in Sihanoukville you don't see that many people are coming here they they're just coming here for the ferry they want to get out to these islands I mean, you got people from all over the place here but this is where we wait and momentarily we should be hopping aboard this bad boy the Cambodia Island Speed Ferry and we're off just look at her go, the Cambodian Island Speed Ferry. Picking up some serious speed. Well, we've stopped for some reason, and uh, the boat's really rocking. I can tell this young lady here, she's probably very sensitive to motion sickness. And I'll tell you what, <clears throat> I'm glad that uh, I didn't drink anything last night or I'm not hung over at all because <laughs> this wouldn't be fun right now. I'd probably throw up. like getting off this boat the Cambodian island speed ferry is a little bit precarious it keeps going back to and fro and if you don't time it right it could be bad and I think we got a little little Lucas here trying to make a leap of faith all right we've made it off without injury things were looking a little dicey there for a minute we are at Korong Island and I met a little polyglot. This kid, can he's Cambodian, but he can speak English very well. Would you like to say anything to whoever's watching? Maybe welcome to Cambodia, or you can use your English. And this kid is very smart. Oh, some, some of the Cambodian kids are really smart, and some of them are actually don't understand Cambodian. So many people watching this video all speak English. Yeah, so they all speak English. Some, some. Would, would you like to say something to them in this video? Hello guys. <laughs> How about welcome to Cambodia? Yeah, but this is Karong, but I like to say welcome on Karong. Oh, welcome to Karong. Yeah. And what are you most interested in here? Um, it's, I'm interested in here in is mangrove forest, but I actually learned mangrove forest very well, but I want to learn more about them. He wants to see the mangrove forest. I want to learn more about the mangrove forest. How awesome is this? Just walking around natural wild coconut trees so susa day well first things first i've got to get some food haven't had, even had breakfast yet so susa day so while i'm waiting for this cashew chicken this Khmer cashew chicken give you a little look at this place they've got full service coffee bar wine they've got western foods on the menu pizza and everything there's a lot of foreign travelers here so i, I imagine all the food is good but the best part is the uh, the view. I mean, right here on Korong Beach, Korong Island. This is the Longset, Longset Beach. Okay, here it is, the Cambodian cashews and chicken. Let's give it a taste test here. Okay, get a piece of chicken. 
cashew. Guys, <laughs> that is so good. Well, to make the most of this trip without always having to look around for a tuk-tuk or something like that, I decided just rent a bike. This cost me $12.50 for the full day, and I'll be able to cover so much more ground. All right, guys, we're off. The roads seem to be pretty good here. I didn't expect that. I'm actually pleasantly surprised because I'll be able to cover the entire island, basically. This is such a good feeling, and you know, you really truly feel free. I mean, just look at this. <laughs> this is amazing. Got the Cambodian People's Party there. This is about, I believe, 25 kilometers, don't know how many miles that would be, from Sihanoukville. You just take the ferry. It was about a 40 minute ride. And then when you get here, it's just a, a little island, mostly still natural scenery, beautiful, pristine beaches. And, uh, you know, I'm not really a big beach guy, so I sort of was kind of on the fence about coming here, but now it, it's like this, you know, it's got roads. I can rent a, a motorbike and get out here and explore. I am so glad that I came out here. I'm not gonna do the mangrove tour, They've got these little boat tours that go through these beautiful mangrove forests. But uh, you can see, here's part of it. Here's the other side of the street. It's been a long time since I've taken a trip like this where I've actually had time to go out and really explore, really travel. I'm out here on a tropical island. There's really not a person in sight. Beautiful scenery, pretty much all nature. And I feel so free and I feel truly, truly happy in this moment. So if you get the chance, highly recommend it. I'm not gunning it too fast. I'm keeping it around uh, 50 kilometers per hour on average. You never know what you're going to hit on the road. So if you do get out here, don't, don't go too crazy. But the roads do seem good. You get going too fast though, you know, if you hit a, a pothole or if there's a problem in the road, it, it could be bad. So it's better to play it safe. Okay, I parked the bike. We're over here at what they call Palm Beach. So we're gonna make our first pit stop along the way. Get out here and see the water. There's something over there. What is it? A lizard <laughs> so if you were out here traveling and you were gonna stay a night or two there's a lot of places around on this island that have these little bungalows I've stayed in some bungalows before it's been a long time but if you want a coconut for free just wait for one to fall pretty much nobody out here you almost have the entire beach to yourself and it is nice it really is beautiful out here. I will add that uh, I always get a little bit paranoid about walking underneath coconut trees because the reality is one of those things could fall at any time. And if one of those coconuts falls and hits you square on the head, <laughs> you could be gone. <laughs> And I, I don't really want to go out that way. I have to say, this is probably one of the prettiest beaches I've ever seen. The sand over here looks really interesting. I mean, this is moist, damp sand right here, but I don't know if you can see it, but it looks like, you know those little ice cream balls called Dippin' Dots? It literally looks like millions of little sand-colored Dippin' Dots everywhere. This water over here is just crystal clear. You can see straight to the bottom. It's literally just a canopy of coconut trees here. On the way to Lonely, Lonely Beach, they call it. There is a section where the road is not very good. It's only about halfway paved and lots of sand, so you gotta take it nice and slow here. We're in Prekvai Village. And this is a village. People live here. It's where they call home. Right here on the water, stilted homes, Susadai. Over here you can get a closer look at this temple that they're building. 
massive construction going on. Not a person in sight. Well, either this pier was never finished or it's been partially destroyed. It looks like it's been partially torn up. Just hope this wood doesn't break. So this is it. This is the road to Lonely Beach. And I'm not trying to be funny, guys. That's the actual name. Lonely Beach. It's where all the lonely people go. So that's why I'm going there. There was a sign just back a little ways and it said dangerous road and I was like well that's fine you know I'm an experienced rider but then uh as I got a little closer it specifically said no moto so just gonna follow the rules here and this is the lonely path to lonely beach it definitely is a bit lonely but uh I like it I didn't plan on swimming here but to be honest I might have to because I'm just so hot and I, oh, I think the, the main problem is the sweat just going right into my eyes. Well, if you're here and you're wanting a drink, you could always swing over to the bitch bar. All right, I decided not to swim here because I know what will happen. I'll end up with sand, little bits of sand in my shorts and on my feet and in my shoes. And I'll still have a lot of riding around to do, which would be very uncomfortable. So I'm gonna swim at my last stop, which will be Long Beach. And I'm gonna start working my way in that direction right now. This is one part that I don't really like. This soft, fluffy sand is nice, but not when you're wearing porous tennis shoes like I am. I can feel the sand getting into my shoes. And uh, but look at this all-natural jungle canopy that we've got here. It's just so quiet, you hear, you can hear insects, you can hear birds, I'll tell you. Out here in the sweltering sun, with no shade, this walk, it's only altogether probably about a one and a half kilometers, but it's like the march of death. I'm absolutely exhausted, burning hot, and uh, there's a little parking area with a shady tent covered area up here, and he's selling, hopefully he's got some cold drinks, because uh, I want something cold and I want to sit down and just chill out for a little while, take a little break. Here's this little area I was telling you guys about. Susa day. Have to have a rest here. Do you have cold to drink? Yep. He did have cold drinks. I paid $1 for this tonic water. And I gotta tell you, this is the most refreshing tonic water that I've ever had. And I haven't had much tonic water, but this is damn good. We're here at Long Beach. And I'm not talking about the Long Beach out in California. I'm talking about a much better Long Beach out here in Cambodia. And uh, so this beach runs along the southwestern coast of Korong Island. Goes on and on, white sand. And from talking to a couple of the locals, they said this is the beach where people like to, you know, it's the main beach where people come to, to swim and spend some time. But that said, this island is pretty much nothing but beaches, so <laughs> you know, you can find different types of beaches. You can find beaches where there's literally nobody there and kind of hidden ones. So you've got your picks if you come here. Whatever you like, you'll be able to find. Look at that. Wow. Susadat. Well, some people can't get enough of the beach. And I don't fault them for it. I like the beach too. I just usually don't go out of my way for beaches. You talk about white sand, look at that. That's legit. And clear water, and look, not crowded at all. Pristine. This is a resort called Long Beach Resort. Basically empty. It's about 40 degrees out here, burning hot. And like I said, I usually don't go out of my way to get to the beach, but for a guy who is as well-traveled as me, you might think that I would have been to a lot more beaches than I have. But uh, I will say out of all the beaches I've been to, this is the clearest, bluest water and the whitest sand and by far the most beautiful beach I've ever been to. Hands down, I mean, it's not even close.
This sand literally squeaks when I walk on it. It's how powdery and fine and soft it is. It squeaks. You hear that? I just went for a little swim in the ocean and that was very refreshing. I gotta say, this place is just breathtaking. It really is. water is so clear and it's pretty warm the water is not cool but it still cools you off though because I'm gonna tell you I'm not lying when I tell you guys I was uh, I was starting to run hot I was overheating a little bit so hopping in here really feels good and it gets deep pretty quick I'm already up to my chest Just riding down the street, I saw this uh, just empty old, I don't know, I guess it was a house or, a, or something, I don't know. But uh, it just caught my attention. I thought I'd come over here and see what's going on. I wonder what this was expected to be. The crocodile. It's got a nice view though. It's literally a child riding that here that kid riding that can't be more than seven years old and the, the little girl behind him is probably about five i think this is a little village area it's interesting to see a lot of the locals just around here i've seen also some some monks in their robes we have dogs just hanging out here living the beach life just one thing i want to warn you guys about if you are a novice rider, there are a couple parts. Like th this was sketchy as hell coming up here by bike. Uh, so if you're a beginning rider, if you're a novice, I wouldn't recommend it. Maybe ask around a little bit extra, make sure, find out which roads are paved, fully paved and easily navigatable because uh, yeah, this one right here, it's, it's the final stretch, but it's really sketchy. And the sketchiness continues. All right, the bike tour is over. I returned my bike. We're back here, got a ferry to catch. You know, the roads did all connect. It's just, there is that one last stretch. So I was coming from Long Beach, heading south, back to the Long Set Ferry. Those names may not mean anything to you, but if you come here, remember that. And the last stretch of road was not paved and it was very sketchy, you know. There was an uphill stretch that was just rugged and uh, you could easily get hurt on it if you're not experienced. But they're always working on it and I would imagine that in the near future, they'll have it all connected and paved because they're, uh, you know, they're trying their best to get it done as quickly as possible, but there's a lot of work to do. This was my lovely waitress here. And she's very nice. Thank you so much, okay? Thank you so much, Uncle. <laughs> I just got a coffee before the ferry ride and it turns out they actually use Cambodian coffee beans here Which uh, I'm kind of surprised. That's awesome though. The last walt guys. The last walt What a beautiful place If I was rich and I didn't have to worry about time, I'd definitely spend a few more days here But unfortunately, I'm on limited time. So got to keep making moves the next boat departing is ours. Well, that's gonna wrap things up for uh, for today's tour. Going out to Korong Island. Had a great time. And uh, I'll tell you what, I'm pretty spent. It was fun, but it, it uh, pretty much wiped me out. We're back here in Sihanoukville. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Looking forward to hearing from you guys in the comment section below. Also, an extra special shout out to anyone who has gone that extra mile in supporting what I do here. 
whether it's on Patreon, buymeacoffee.com, or even a super thanks right here on the YouTube platform. I notice you guys, and I genuinely appreciate it. Thank you so much. Catch you all in the next video.